How's it going everybody? Henry Chisholm here and uh, some Class M and Double L action going on tonight but we're going to take a look at two teams who advanced. We start things off in Fairfield where Notre Dame Fairfield was hosting number 14 Kaner Tech and it got ugly but we start off late second quarter Earl Coleman drains that shot 31 to 22 Notre Dame and then before the half ended Dan Upchurch with the floater knocks it down. Notre Dame led 41-30 at the half but they won 104-65. No kidding. They move on. They play Stonington tonight. Class Double L second round. We head to Trumbull, St. Joe's, and uh, Tomas Parker's biggest fan right there. Number three, St. Joe's hosting number 18, Stanford. Big FCAC match. Big Class Double L matchup. And then Ja'Kai Wilson's going to drive right here and the foul. That tied the game at 46 with five minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. And then a huge block right there. Wilson finds Barry Bodrick, who scored. That puts Stanford up 48-46 to 46 with about five minutes left in the game. Frank Massey's going to find Oscar Ossie, who finds Tomaj Parker, who thinks he got fouled, but they didn't call it. The game is now tied at 48 with four minutes left. And then a nice move. Once he gets his hit past you, he's gone. Ja'Kai Wilson scores. That puts Stanford back up 50-48. Brandon Jones finds Tomaj Parker inside. Spin move. Fake. Up. No way. Terrence DeTimmy blocks that shot, but they try one more time inside to Parker. He's not going to go for that shot again. He passes it to Ossie. Ossie finishes with a huge dunk. That tied the game up at 50 with about two minutes left to go in the game and then Ja'Kai Wilson cross court pass that's a no no Tamaj Parker steals it goes inside scores 52 50 St. Joe's about a minute left in the game Stanford fouls to try to stop the clock and lengthen the game and it works as Jake Fulton misses the first free throw and the second uh, not quite rebound Stanford one last shot Lewis Britter for the tie mm, no it doesn't go down Brendan Jones gets the board clears out some space the clock winds down and St. Joe's wins 52 to 50 they advance they play against another FCAC team they play McMahon tonight um, I was watching the defense. I knew nobody was behind me, so I inched up a little bit, tried to cheat up. I saw, I saw his eyes, and I, I went to intercept the ball, and it, it worked out for me. All right, man. So I saw that last play, the rebound. You got that ball. You were throwing some balls down there. Just talk about that last play. What were you doing on that last one? Uh, well, I just knew we had to get the last possession, and the ball went up. I just knew I had to get it. You know, it was the last, last important possession. You know, Oscar's real toughness inside. Refusal to 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 uh, you know to give up. You just get we just kept pounding. James did a pretty good job of controlling. You know. Uh, I already knew. You know. I just looked at him once and I saw the double team come over. So automatically I positioned myself to get the ball. In my head from the beginning, since I was running down, I was like, I'm gonna get my dunk. So I just had to post up, get, get the ball, just dunk it. 